Well, this is part two. I'm just showing you what this machine is doing. And hooked up to the panels and see it's pushing power. And I still have the opening here. I haven't, been, uh, I haven't closed that yet. And let me show you the meter. I incorporated the, um, the Renogy. The machine is putting a 10.4 amps and this is a 24 volt. Oh, let's come here. Capture this. Over 300. We're bringing in. So, he's doing the job. It's a 3 kVA uh, international. So I have the wire already provisioned for this, for the AC, and I run I run the uh, sorry the AC for AC inputs because I was trying to try it. So if anybody said um, you can't charge, anybody say you can't charge um, um, international 220 or 230 volts on a 110, well, that's a complete lie because I have tried it. It worked. You have some settings on the inverter you have to change. And it, it will tell you it's going to accept the 120 all the way higher and you have the one you can go up to about um, um, uh, 170 all the way high so I've tried it and look at the numbers right there this is the Vevor V-E-V-O-R if that's how you pronounce it or V4 so we are making power here and we are putting power back to the batteries and the batteries are we running because I'm gonna the next one I'm gonna be testing this guy which is the midnight kid and these are the batteries um, we are working on here from battery hookup we had from battery hookup so let me put back this cover that's our boss bars everything is connected Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Uh, miss that. That's a good one right there. So, making power, I'm going to put back this uh, cover. So, we got both heavy duty. It takes over 240 amps. The uh, the bus power. So it has a enclosure protector, very nice in there, and that's the shunt right there, and that's a red wire, little red wire that goes tied to the positive to power this uh, shunt. So these are the batteries from battery hookup that uh, from the medical cart. They said uh, those batteries came from a medical cart. Sorry for the shake. And this is the deal. Right here. At JW Solar USA. So we do what we have to do to turn any lithium battery to a success. And we've been doing, uh, conducting different tests into battery hookup batteries. And uh, we are successful into this game that we playing with these lithium batteries so far so good you guys not been seeing me doing different things anymore all I'm doing now on my channel is more talking about lithium batteries and how I utilize them so the panels are putting power and we're gonna be charging this um, battery all the way to um, 30 volt but because they said you can charge all the way to 15 something like that you can go more than 15 so this battery I have here right now in here so that's a 1 old 12 volt right 12 volt right there because I parallel these batteries 
So you see the red wires here, 12 volts. Red wires here, 12 volts. So I have to have the same thing here. So I took this 12 volts right here, this back, so I, it's shorter. From here to here, you can see the space. So I jump and look at the other one here. So it's a space. So I used these two 12 volt down here and tie them in series. I use these two 12 volts here and try them in series because the batteries came as a 12 volts by itself. Um, four amps. So 12 volts, 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. So 24 volts. I tie two batteries. 12 volts or uh, 24 volts try those ones in 24 volts if I'm saying it correctly yeah I have um, positives here to positive so I parallel here parallel there and connect in series sorry so is the charge for the 12 volts as 15 then times 2 so it's gonna be 30 so this guy started making noise all the way to 854 here right now and we are making this power and this is the voltage the battery voltage and the Hertz nothing we are not pulling any load I would like to pull load on this so see if I can bring more watt so I have my settings one of these days I'll show you guys I'll set up these guys for the beginners or the newcomers because I've been having some questions people be asking me when I was doing the those um, LV from MPPT solar the MG's so so this is the voltage coming from the PV because this machine doesn't take a higher input. The highest I think is uh, 70 or 90. It's a small one, it's a 24 volt. So it doesn't give me the 120. Especially from this brand. These are no MPP solar. It's not an MPP solar. Okay? But it's a MPPT charge control so we are bringing 11 amps from the solar right now you can see the power we bring in here it's putting back that and um, so we bring in 318 there is a discrepancy now it's putting 289 to the batteries on 10 amps while we have um, 11 amps coming from the battery so I don't know from these two guys these two guys here who is telling the truth this is the problem when you're dealing with um, machines nowadays because the calibration on their meters you don't know who is right who is not right so um, energy I'm not gonna give any uh, credit to energy for accuracy I'm not giving credit to Vevo or Vivo because I don't know which one is right so right now it's charging it's really hard to tell I'm using my fluke meter to prove who is right who is wrong so the calibration is the problem so this is what we have and 11 amps okay let's go back here 316 see that so these are the stuff we have right now going on right here at the JW Solar USA live from Minnesota this meter is not yet I connected that meter yesterday it was full so I tried to drain the batteries I started seeing the flashing light because I shut off all the alarms it's just annoying anytime you push something beep 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 all that noise and even when the solar disconnected and you can hear that beep that noise it's too much noise that's the same thing with the MPP solar I don't like so I shut all those alarms noises all the craziness so I have to get 
things peaceful and quiet so too much noise I don't know why all those beeps doesn't make no sense but they are there for a reason anyway I don't just like them so they can be there it's fine but I don't want them so this is what is going on right now at the JW Solar USA live from Minnesota the batteries are all getting there they get in charge and we bring in 310 say we put in here this so I even compare do comparison when it comes to the AC side we are pulling power which this guy is telling us but this one connects to the DC side so I'm not gonna take that because this one is reading on the AC side so I came to understand that yesterday put that into perspective saying you know I don't have to judge it that way because this one is pulling on the AC the DC side while that one is pulling on the AC side the meters supposed to be reading totally different but it shows on the load side so I don't know if it's reading from the AC load side or the DC uh, um, load side so I just want to make try to make it clear I don't want to be biased in anything but um, um, it's, it was totally off so let's check this out and see how everything is going for this project live here at the GW Solar USA then I might probably produce sent this video first before the other one yesterday because a long video it's about 20 minutes but it's worth watching if you want to you can watch it and um, you will see how I use a step down to go about um, running a 230 volt inverter to um, or 110 volts North America okay so this is what it is like and subscribe from the command center here in Minnesota thanks for watching love you guys all bye for now making noise it's charging 10 amps continuously batteries are, batteries are all cool to the touch there's nothing threatening here it's all the way then um, I have some fans 12 volt fans I want to incorporate to this system here so stay tuned for that because those install gonna be coming which is this guy here 24 volt fan have you under the video it takes only 0.12 amps it's not even an amp so look at that brand SP RITE that's the model number so I have some 48 volt ones as well so the airflow shows you so I have to create the pins right here so I don't have any thing that I'm gonna be plug I'm gonna be doing this time I probably solder them direct and put probably a fuse and put a a switch a toggle switch to do that or I will use a guy like this one here it's a 20 amp but it's too much for that well, anyway so we're making more progress look at that 335 just change kind of cool it's always nice I'm always happy when solar is working or I'm getting power from the Sun I love that all the time that's my happiest time because it's energy so if we continue with the same speed it says it's gonna be full in two hours 29 but this oh we went to 40 It's the highest I've seen and uh, we're gonna be making power all day 
if this it stays like this this machine is going to be making noise for a very long time so i got the mc4 connectors on that that plugs in so the guy here already wired the ac side of it and the dc is down no sorry the ac charging input charge then i have the small it only takes for the transformer this is the one and um it's just cool seeing everything working so this can change uh other people's lives in other countries even here in the united states and um but it depends if you know what you're doing with this thing here can give you some good starting if a power goes down you can able to have your cell phones your tablets or your laptops um, lights if I have to do it I'm not gonna do it on an AC I'm gonna do it on a DC side if that I was on that situation I'll use this guy here this is a midnight kid and it has the the battery here and the last one here is gonna be the the solar on the left the center one is the um, the load so I can take the load because the skid do 30 amp input on solar and 30 amp out on 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 solar on the batteries they gives you back another 30 amp to the load so load is 30 uh, 30 amps so I can do 30 amps here on DC I can power a um, few lights onto that and it's going to be reading if you have a wristbang junior it will show you the battery capacity state of charge uh depth of discharge and it's going to give you the volts everything plus it's going to tell you the load readings what you are taking from this as soon as you connect a load so i will use this guy for that or even for for doing um charging systems for batteries and so on and so forth I'll put the, 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 the I'll use the DC side here, the load side, so you can able to control when the uh, batteries get low. It has a low battery shut off. You can control it instead of putting DC to DC. You can drain this battery almost to next to nothing because 12 volts or 24 volt charging, it will just draw the batteries. It doesn't have a limit. You have to have a limit to cut off. So I'm going to use this side here. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to incorporate this Vevo or Vivo to this guy here. I'm just using it as a charging um, uh, device right now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Like and subscribe.